everyone! <laughs> Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to draw semi-realistically on Ibis Paint X. Now the first thing you wanna do is actually not open up Ibis. You wanna first open up Pinterest and you wanna search for a good reference. Most people will say a good reference is something with strong shadows and blah 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 blah. But personally, I just think a good reference has bright colors and looks pretty. But to each their own, I guess. Anyways, once you've found your reference, you're going to split screen that to Ibis. I know a lot of people go crazy over the reference window and be like, oh, you should be using the reference window and blah 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 blah. But personally, I don't like using the reference window because when doing semi realism you're trying to get semi-realistic proportions and i feel like it's easier to do on split screen because you have a more one-to-one -one ratio than a tiny box in the corner of a freaking big canvas that's why i do a split screen now i'm going to be starting off my very 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 rough sketch when i'm sketching this part i use pen fade set to like a blue color just so that later when i'm actually doing my sketch in black it's easier to tell the difference between my sketch and my rough 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 sketch when starting this sketch i'm not trying to get proportions right i'm not trying to get anything really right it's just to get the main concept of the sketch okay like don't make a freaking scribble out of it try to make it somewhat decent okay just to get the idea of how things are gonna end up looking usually when i start off this sketch i start off with a circle and a sharp pointy thingy for the chin and i draw in the eyes and everything and draw everything around that i learned this way of doing this type of sketch from monix okay anyways when you're done with that you're going to add a folder above that layer and you're going to add a new layer and put that under the new folder and you are going to lower the opacity of your rough 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 sketch and you are going to begin actually sketching sketching your drawing this is like no playtime now you gotta really start putting your effort into this sketch okay you gotta try <laughs> you gotta actually try now i usually like using a smaller size of pen fade while i'm doing these sketches the reason why i put this sketch into a folder is because i like separating my sketch into different layers so that it's easier to color later when i separate my sketch i usually have a layer for like the head and neck a new layer for the hair a new layer for the clothes a new layer for like accessories if the person has any a new layer for the hands if there are any in the picture a new layer for the nose a new layer for the mouth and for the eyes i have a sub folder for that where i separate it into eyebrows eye shape and iris and for accessories instead of outlining it and sketching it out i usually just draw the silhouette of it so that later instead of having to color inside the lines of these tiny accessories i can just clip a layer to it and color off of that work smarter not harder okay kids after we're done with this sketch i'm going to duplicate it and hide the original sketch and we're going to make a new layer and put it underneath all the new duplicated sketch layers and we're gonna start coloring i'm going to put in the base color of the skin now when coloring skin i usually like to stay in this range of the color wheel not too saturated not too desaturated but like somewhere in the middle because i personally like my colors to be bright but they can't be too bright because real life isn't that bright but don't just add a base color and be like oh well that's the base color no because we also gotta add them base shadow yeah i just block in like the most perm Per per pertinent oh my gosh shadows and a quick tip when you're doing the base colors make sure to make the ears like a more saturated reddish color because for some reason your ears are like that and your neck a little darker than the base color because for some reason when i've done my color picking studies that's just how things work once i'm done with that i'll take the line arts layer add a new layer on top of it and i'm going to clip it onto the headline arts layer and i'm going to color it like a dark red just so that just so it blends in better with the skin and it doesn't seem too in your face anyways when i'm done with that i'm going to merge it down to the headline art layer and i'm going to merge the line art onto my skin base color and i'm going to start adding finer details with soft pastel when doing semi-realism i do not recommend you use airbrush for like shadows and stuff only use it for like blush and maybe when you're doing the iris but other than that i do not recommend using it to shade anything just just don't okay once you're done with all of that i usually like to take the nose layer and also color that a dark red merge that onto the skin layer and start coloring over that a little bit because we're trying to go for that interly feel not too much line art not too little line art once i'm finished with the skin i usually move on to the eyes a quick tip when you're doing the eyes do not take the sclera pure white because the whites of your eyes are actually not pure white and also because we're saving that pure white for the highlights so that they can really pop and make our drawing look super juicy i'll probably just make a whole separate video on the eyes because eyes are pretty easy but at the same time complicated to do once i'm finished with the eyes i usually move on to the lip i'll use soft pastel add a base color add on some shading and highlights there you go yeah pretty simple i usually move on to the hair which is just adding a base color adding another layer on top of that and clipping it onto that and start shading don't draw every strand of hair when you're shading hair make it into groups look at the overall picture don't look at the individual strands so like you see here in this reference you don't see 
see every single strand if you zoom out you see like this part shaded and this part shaded so only shade those parts same thing with highlights when doing highlights i just like scribbling all on some stuff and i use pen fade eraser and just erase part of it i also end up merging the hairline art layer down to the blurring hair layer the next thing i usually work on is the clothing it's gonna be the same process you add a base color and then you you block in your shadows and then you merge the layer down and then you start using soft pastel to add a little more detail and stuff if the clothing is like really soft like wunyang's jacket is right there use more of soft pastel but if it's like a little more stiff like wunyang's dress right there then use pen fade for the shading if there are parts to the outfit that look very complicated like this sparkly part of her dress just don't draw all them sparkly things okay the whole point of semi-realism is just to get the concept of your reference but if you're having trouble with that what i recommend you to do is to save your reference photo import it into ibis and blur it it's just enough blur so that you can see like the main things that still pop out and still are there even after blurring so you know those are the things that you want to capture if you don't see every tiny jewel after you blur it well then don't draw every tiny jewel but anyways after clothing i usually move on to accessories where i just clip a layer onto it and i just start coloring in what i see since i only drew the silhouette of it it's just super easy to color in because all i had to do was clip a layer onto it and i can color outside the lines without it being outside the lines just to recap the whole basic process that i do for painting is i add a base color block in the most pertinent shadows and then i merge the line art layer down and then i start cleaning things up with soft pastel and adding more details with soft pastel that's basically how the whole process goes now that we're basically done with the whole painting we're going to close up this folder and we're going to add a layer from it and we're gonna add in them juicy highlights with pure white also i'm going to add in a few loose hair strands usually when adding hair strands i'll just use pen fade but sometimes if there are like a lot of hair strands in one area i'll use this brush called five lines you guys want to have all the qr codes to the brushes that i use i'll put them up on screen right now so you can take a quick picture of that and now it is time for the most anticipated part of every drawing that every artist fears the canvas flipping time okay it's not that bad actually <laughs> i hate it when artists like flip the canvas and they're like oh my gosh this is so ugly and they like overreact to it it's like bro it's fine you just gotta use a little liquify like chillax man okay i'm just gonna liquify it a bit and flip it back to its original states add a colored background to it and i'm going to start adding some overlays just to make things pop a little more just gonna duplicate the drawing and i'm going to set it to multiply lower the opacity of that just to saturate the colors a little bit more and i'm going to once again duplicate the drawing again Again, and I'm going to put it on top of the multiply layer put this layer to soft light I'm going to lower the opacity to that till I think it looks good and I'm going to add another layer on top of that and I'm going to use a little gradation and I'm going to pick out like two colors that I think would go well with the drawing and I'm going to overlay that on top of it and there we go look at this beautiful semi-realistic drawing you did that good job good job anyways here's how the drawing turned out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it and I'll see you in the next one Bye.